come in the United States of America, so they will still keep coming and coming hard, the Cubans, looking for a 5-0 clean sweep here to give them as great an advantage as possible going into the second quarter-final next week. Combate División 81 kilogramos, árbitro Mick Bassi de Inglaterra, en la esquina de USA Knockout, Michel Borges de Sousa. So we move on to the light heavyweight division, 81 kilogram boxers for the USA Knockouts. The uh, Brazilian light heavyweight uh, Mikhail Borges de Souza. Uh, de Souza, a bronze medalist from the 2013 Pan American Games and the uh, Brazilian national champion back in uh, 2011, a competitor at the uh, recent uh, AIBA Open Boxing World Championships in Almaty, Kazakhstan. Had a walkover in uh, week seven, and in his one fight, the 24-year-old uh, orthodox boxer from Rio lost to uh, Benchabla, an Algerian boxer representing the Italia Thunder. So still looking for his first win. So Michel uh, Borges de Souza in the blue corner for the USA knockout. Now Emilio Correa, not to be confused with his father by the same name, who was the 1972 welterweight Olympic gold champion. This is Emilio Correa Jr. moving up from being a very successful middleweight boxer to the light heavyweight division. Now, Emilio, Pan American Games gold medalist in 2011 and 2007, a silver medalist in Beijing 2008, beaten by James DeGale. 28 years of age, and of course, uh, his father, the first Cuban welterweight to win an Olympic gold medal. We haven't seen him on the WSB yet this season. Really interested to see Emilio moving up to the light heavyweight division after a huge amount of success as a middleweight amateur boxer. This is the one I've been looking forward to, I have to admit, having uh, followed his uh, father when I was a youngster.
Michel Bourget de Souza out of the blue corner. USA knockouts wearing blue shorts, white stripe. Easily recognizable white shorts for Cuba. Cuba have already won this match, maintaining their impressive record. Now of 11 matches, just one loss. Mick Bassey from England is our referee. Now, let's take a look at Emilio Carrera. Big shot, right hand over the top, nice and early. hand over the top Borges de Souza four years the junior hard-hitting jabs from both boxers just trying to change the tactic a little here minutes to go in this first round as if uh, Emilio Correre wants to just let uh, D'Souza let off a few punches to see what he's dealing with here never boxed each other before of course it's his first taste of WSB boxing here Got such strength and depth in their squads Cuba but maybe they've saved a few like Correre. Still last. Till the end of the season, of course. And a big right hand. And uh, I'm not sure if the Brazilian is going to be able to take too much of this. Again, you can see him. Put it, he's got him in the corner here. Good combination punches from De D'Souza to get himself out of trouble. Explosive work from both boxers in the opening round. For me, the Cuban in the red corner. More work, more punches thrown. And uh, the judges agree. Emilio Correre, 10-9, 10-9, 10 The light heavyweight division, the penultimate match about, I should say, of the evening. Let's have a look at some of the exchanges here in slow motion. Again, almost knocking him out of the corner there with the left hook, but this was the last exchange right at the end of the first round. Round dos. D'Souza does well to get himself out of trouble. Into round two of five, three minute rounds, remember? And uh, interesting to see now if the Brazilian boxing for the USA knockouts in the blue shorts just changes his tactic here. Because for me, Emilio Carrera is just starting to control this fight <laughs> Catch 
catching one of the two of the jabs with the lead hand. Is that well? But for every one that goes into the gloves, there's another that goes through. Bassi, the referee, very experienced. And has this fight under control. Good work from both boxers. He's got to be careful now, D'Souza, that he doesn't walk on to that big right hand of uh, Carrere. uppercut this time good change of combination refereeing from Mick Bassi again with a minute to go in the second round both boxers still looking strong there's another superb counter punch from Carrero. And that definitely has stunned and slowed D'Souza. He wants to stop uh, showboating a little as well, the Brazilian. Good combination punches from the Cuban. He already had one knockout. There's the bell for the second round. Again for me, Correre of Cuba in the red corner. Far more punches on target. One or two big punches as well. See if we can get them in the replay here. There's that big right hand that we were talking of. At one time, the uh, D'Souza had the Cuban almost caught in the corner. He pivoted his way out of trouble. Using those middleweight skills of yesteryear. Second, out. Second round goes Second to out. Cuba. Let's go, USA. Stay there. Stay there. Into the third. Round dress. With two rounds going to uh, Emilio Carrera of uh, Cuba in the white shorts. D'Souza now knows that he must try and turn the tables in this round if he's to take this match. The super heavyweights, of course, coming up next to wrap up proceedings here at the uh, Sports City Coliseum in Havana, Cuba. Not quite full to the 15,000 capacity. But a lot of people have traveled to Independence Avenue here in Havana to watch this uh, what would have been originally the second quarter-final but now is the first oh good counter punching here from uh, D'Souza he's clipped Carrera just a couple of times there on the counter good to see again Moving forwards. Breaking down the angles. Head up, Cuba. Get your head up, Cuba. Still fast hands from both boxers. Straight punch combination. 
uppercut left hook as well. A lot of them just going into the gloves. He's covering up really stop well, go, D'Souza. USA. USA, stop holding. There's a lovely double left hook, whipping it round. Head up, head up, Cuba. And again, this time, big punches from Carrera. Two big uppercuts. Head up, get your head up, stop holding. And a right hey, hook. Step back, step back, step back, stop holding. D'Souza determined to show that he's not hurt and he can take as much as he gives. But again... Hard-hitting left hooks. Not so sure how many of these D'Souza can continue to take. Punishing series now of punches from Correra. There again, a three-punch combination. And if he can't find the angle to the head, he's putting some big punches into the lower part of the body. There again, right into the ribs. Superb round for Emilio Carrere. Who, for me, will go three up. First time D'Souza looks a little despondent in the corner. There again. I don't know whether he was screaming ow or what, but clearly vocal D'Souza. Right now. The Brazilian, 24-year-old from Rio de Janeiro, boxing for the USA yeah, knockouts. Go, well, go. that's good to see. One of the judges giving D'Souza a 10-9 there. But into the penultimate round, four. For me, Carrera has this under control. If he can keep the same discipline and momentum in this fourth into the fifth, we will go 4-0 up. One of the judges clearly believes that uh, D'Souza is uh, scoring. But again, look at this onslaught again. Pivots beautifully out of the corner there, D'Souza. Watch the head, Cuba. Stop. Step up. Hey, come on, get your head up. Fox. Bassi having no bending of the rules here. What's the slapping? Come on. Now, five rounds in a World Series of Boxing. The world's premier boxing league. Five three minute rounds. In Aiba open boxing competition, of course, it's just three three minute rounds. And the only thing that could go to Souza's way here is if uh, Emilio Carrera starts to tire just a little, starts to lose his form, drop his guard, allow the counter punch through. But right now, with one minute 20 on the clock in the fourth round, that does not seem to be the case. Thundering left stop, hook. Stop. Step back, step back. Get your hand. Box. <laughs> Sensing that his moment might come here, De Souza. Pace slows just a little from the Cuban. Clock stopped, gum shield, quick wash. Give up, give up. Give 
35 seconds. Again, excellent. Movement. Both boxers still looking sharp. Stop holding your side. Ten seconds. USA, stop holding. Yes, I will do. Stop holding your side. Stop holding. Stop. Again, Cuba has the fourth round for me. Fantastic athleticism from both boxers here. Full stretch with that lead left. Turns it into a hook. Great work from both boxers. He's blocked well, hasn't he? His defence has been almost impregnable. And Correa showing that he can do the same thing. He can bob and weave, he can parry, he can... Two judges have that. Correa ahead, one judge again for D'Souza. He's in a strong position going into this fifth round. Starts with a double straight punch combination. Rock solid. And a rock steady rhythm. It really has been impressive for me. But uh, Michel Borges uh, de Souza clearly demonstrated that he can take a punch. punch good shot from uh, Correa beautiful counter with the uh, big right hand pivot work again Come on, box. The referee, understandably and rightfully so, doesn't want to allow D'Souza to turn his back on his opponent. And uh, Correra showing fantastic physicality here. Look at that lovely uppercut, two of them right through. For the first time in this match, D'Souza is now tiring. Again, the uppercut in work from uh, the Cuban. Powerful, strong, and right on target. Stop holding, stop holding. Break! Step back, step back, step back, step back. Come on. Stop holding. Again, the, the left hook. Watch your head. Well, this Brazilian is a tough cookie, but look at that. Again, right uppercut. Again, another right over the top. Left hook. Uppercut works again for Correra. I'm pretty sure this Brazilian is happy that this is only a five-round match tonight. He, too, manages to hit the target with a good two-three punch combination there as well. Both boxers starting to tire, and understandably so. Just 15 seconds left on the clock. Both of these boxers have done themselves proud. But for me, Emilio Correra has been relentless. Look at this, right to the dying second. There it is. Wow.
absolute commitment from both. Putting in some really good punches. Here we see the straight right hand, then the uppercut. Uppercut again to the left hook. And as soon as that guard is dropped, he whips in another left hook again. Emilio Carrera. There again. The uppercut worked so effectively for him in that fifth round. And for me, that's what sealed it. There's the right hand over the top. Beautiful shot. Bassi making it quite clear to both of these boxers he enjoyed that as well world caliber stuff from both of these light heavyweight boxers West C, 50, 45. El vencedor por decisión unánime. En la esquina de tomadores de Cuba, Emilio Correa. Correa, a unanimous decision. Taking uh, Cuba 4 0 ahead of the USA knockouts to the delight of the home crowd here in Havana, Cuba. Very good, congratulations, Rodeo. Excellent, Rodeo, congratulations. Elio Carrera makes a successful step up from the middleweight to the light heavyweight division. With one fight left on tonight's card, the super heavyweights, 91 kilograms plus. Confirmation of a walkover, a win for the light welters and light heavyweight boxers from Cuba. The super heavyweights will be up next. This one could go the knockouts way, but uh, Cuba will be very keen to take and make 5-0 clean sweep here before the second part of this quarterfinal is contested in the United States of America on April the 12th.